Despite her youth, Takaya Blaney is no stranger to speaking her mind when it comes to the environment. She's equally comfortable engaging corporate CEOs, elected politicians, and crowds at international summits. And joining us now to tell us more about her life as a young environmentalist, Takaya Blaney, environmental <laughs> activist. Nice to have you here at TVO. Oh, it's nice to be here. You've been to Toronto before, right? Home is yes. British Columbia. Yes. But you've been here before a couple times. I have been here before speaking. Okay. You've got a very interesting first name, Takaya. You want to tell us about that? Yeah, Takaya. It's Takaya. And it's, um, it's from the Slyman Nation. It's in the Slyman language, and that's where I'm from. And it was given to me by my kukba, which means grandfather in the Slyman language. And it means special waters. Special waters? Yeah. Well, and why did they want to name you after special waters? Well, I was, um, my dad wanted me to be named Kaya, which means water in our language. But then my kukba said, no, name her Takaya. And it's, it was really, it was a coincidence because of what I do and how I'm an activist and I speak out and for the ocean, so. It's ironic, isn't it? That it you're, is very you're ironic. special waters <laughs> and you care a lot about the cleanliness of our water around the world. So that's a beautiful thing. Well, 12 years old seems to be pretty young to get into the activism game. How did you get into this? Um, well, I first got into it, um, I've always cared and I think everyone, you know, cares about our environment. We, you know, I care about the world uh, around me because I've, that's what I've grown up with. I've grown up with swimming in glacial water in the summer, um, going to Slyam and, and listening to my kukba and chichia, my grandfather, my kukba and my grandmother, my chichia, about their stories about how the land was when they were my age and just hearing what has been lost in the last decade or so and what we still have and what we're trying to cling on to. You remember how old you were when you first felt this need to be active about the environment? It's just always been a part of me. It's hmm. just it's just something that I always cared about. You know, growing up around the environment and growing up around these lush ecosystems, that was my playground as a smaller child. Um, so for me, it wasn't when I started caring. It's I've always cared, and this is, you know, I only recently got active about what I cared about. And you write songs too? Yeah, I write songs. I've been singing since a very, very young age. Probably I've been singing since I, I could talk, not well, but I started <laughs> taking singing seriously when I was four years old. Wow. Now, do you live on reserve? Um, no, but we visit there as much as we can, because me and my family, um, my parents, that's where my family is, my kukba and chichia, my aunties and my cousins, so we visit there as much as we can, but um, we're living on the Squamish territory. In Vancouver? Yeah, in Vancouver. Gotcha. Can I play a clip here? Because you wrote a song that I want everybody just to hear a little bit of. Yes. <laughs> this is from a music video of your song, Shallow Waters. Mm -hmm which is, I guess, a little bit like Special Waters, but it's Shallow <laughs> Waters. And you put it online, and it kind of went a little viral, didn't it? Yes. Not bad. Not yeah. bad. Let's play a clip, and then we'll chat, okay? Roll tape, please. Wow, is that the same hat you're wearing now as in the video? Um, no. Little, it was it, it was a different hat. I've I've been speaking um, and singing all over with that hat, and you know, um, it was it was like it was more of a a small child's hat. Oh, okay. So you know, it was. I guess it was meant to be because it was what I was getting into was more adult, um, more adult. Sure. Why did you write that song? So. Um, I wrote that song. I wrote that song out of. I have a passion, you know, my passion for the environment, my passion for saving what I care about, but I also have a passion for singing, and I love to sing. Um, I love. I love to write songs, and I decided well. I could combine those two passions together 
and write a song about a future where there's an oil spill from the Northern Gateway Pipeline proposal, if this pipeline proposal were to go through. And the probability and the possibility of this oil spill is so extreme that it's not a question of if this oil spill were to happen, it's when the oil spill is going to happen. So I wrote that song based off of my concern and just, you know, that future where the oil spills from that pipeline and... What kind of reaction did you get to the song? Um, it was, it was a mixed reaction. It was, you know, the positive, that positive feedback, which, you know, that was really encouraging, but there was also negative feedback, which was her parents were trying to expose her. Um, she's too young. She shouldn't be worrying about this or, um, this isn't, this isn't real. There's no real threat. Well, I should follow up on the age thing because I wonder, you, you've had lots of dealings with people who work for corporations and politicians. Mm -hmm. And do you ever think to yourself, I wonder if these people take me seriously because I am kind of young. Mm -hmm. you ever wonder about that? Well, I think that is one of the issues, but, and I, and I was, how I was talking about how I always cared. Um, I always wanted to make a difference, but it was all, always along the lines of when I grow up, I want to create a change in the Slyman community, in the Slyman nation. I want to... It's your first nation in um, British Columbia. Yeah, I want to bring back this and this and our, our culture and those healthy ecosystems. I want to be part of this movement for a change. And that was always along the lines of oh, when I grow up. And it's sad that it has to be this way, but. I realize that I don't have time to grow up before I want to make make a change and starting <laughs> now is just as fine as starting when I'm 25. I sure. want to make a change. Sure, so. but do, do adults take you seriously, do you think? I think there is, you know, that percentage of people who don't take me seriously, but there is um, that other percentage of people who are standing with me and who are you know, we're all for the same cause and we're all united in solidarity and it doesn't, to me, it doesn't matter what your age is, it just matters that you have a passion inside you and you're concerned and you're speaking out against it and that's a good thing. Okay. You've been around the world, haven't you? What places have you been to? I've been across Canada twice, um, speaking in classrooms, speaking in conference rooms, about what I'm concerned about, about my story, about, you know, just bringing this issue with the demand for oil and the demand for um, the Northern Gateway Pipeline and what our government's trying to push through. But you've just been bringing further that than message. Canada. What? You've been further than Canada. I heard, I've, I've heard you've yes. been to Brazil. Yes, I've been to Brazil, to Indonesia. Indonesia. Indonesia, that was my first UN conference. I was at the UN Children and Youth Conference. It was at Tenza in Bandung, Indonesia. I've been to Sweden and Iceland. <laughs> I've, um, what you I've been all over BC. Well, okay, that's home. Let me um, ask you another question. Let me ask you about school. Do you have <laughs> enough time for school with all of the activism you're doing? I'm, I'm homeschooled, okay. so I do have enough time for school. It's, um, yeah, I have enough time for school. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and do you think, um, as you look forward, that activism is going to be a big part of your life for as long as you live? I, I want to keep spreading the message that I'm spreading. I want to keep speaking out, and I want to, um, I want to keep up with the activism. So. Well, we thank you for coming into TVO today and telling us about all of your plans. Thanks, Takaya. Thank you. Support Ontario's public television. Donate at tvo.org.